Okay, this is my biology lesson on balance translocations um, using children's blocks. So when we set up our chromosomes, this is my husband. And this is me. So when I was conceived for some unknown reason, a part of chromosome 7 and a part of chromosome 22 traded places. So you see the green is in the red and the red is in the green. Um, I am a healthy, normal human being because I still have all my genetic material, I still have all my DNA, it's just shuffled around a little, but it's still all there, so everything that was needed to turn me into a person was still present. Now these two are my husband, he is a non-mutant, completely normal human being, um, so his 7 and 22 are all yellow and all orange together. So if you'll remember from your biology classes, what happens when you make your uh, sex cells is that my husband's sperm provides half the information and my egg provides the other half. So when my husband creates a sperm, he provides half of the seven and half of the 22 to make an embryo. And I provide the other half of the seven and the other half of the 22. So if the egg that I produce for the month provides this 7 and this 22, then this is a perfectly healthy, normal human being with a complete 7, half given from me, half given from my husband, and a complete 22, half from me, half from my husband. This is Charlotte. This baby is perfectly fine. It got the good 7 and the good 22, and everything is perfect. Um, so that's fantastic. Um, I'm so happy that Charlotte looks like that. But there's another possibility, which would be that I gave the messed up 7 and the messed up 22. Now, as you see here, this has all the information it needs, it's just in the wrong place. So it has all the 7, it has all the 22, it's crisscrossed, but this could grow into a healthy, normal human being. Um, this is what I look like. So the baby would be genetically like me, perfectly fine and healthy until that individual grew up and decided to have children of its own and then that baby would go through everything that I go through trying to make his or her own egg or sperm. But that could be a baby. I mean that baby will live and would be fine. Um, the problem arises when my body creates an egg that looks like this. So you see here there's too much red here, there's too much 7, so, and there's not enough 22. So when the cells start replicating and try to turn into a human being, there's not all the information present, and at some point that individual will stop multiplying and growing. Um, so it's missing a vital piece of information because that piece of 7, um, or that piece of 22 is missing. Um, the same thing would happen if we went this way. This baby has too much 22, too much green, not enough red, not enough 7, um, and that individual would not keep growing and turning into a human being. So there are the four possibilities. Um, possibility one is Charlotte, is perfectly normal. Possibility two is a baby with a balanced translocation, which would also be fine. But the bad possibilities are the unbalanced translocations, where the amount of 7 and 22 does not match up. So that creates unbalanced translocation, and that cannot become a human being. So uh, the four possibilities, two of them will live and two of them will die, so that's why I always say that we have a 50-50 chance. And we just don't know what happens every month. Um, it's predetermined by whatever egg is present to get fertilized, which kind of egg it's going to be. Um, so that is my explanation of translocations using children's blocks.